bienvenue dans un nouvel épisode de Fly vs Jerk 14. Aujourd'hui, nous allons terminer la journée de rivière avec 6 heures de pêche. Beaucoup de choses peuvent arriver au tableau d'affichage. Pour le moment, les 3 points sont avec 3 équipes différentes. L'équipe Headbanger mène avec 16 poissons. L'équipe Powerboat Mercury a le plus gros brochet avec 9,19 kg. Et l'équipe Daiwa a récolté un énorme 485 cm sur son top 5. Après seulement 4 heures de pêche. Fly vs Gear 14 vous est présenté par Wotski, votre boutique en ligne d'équipement nautique dans les pays nordiques. Buster Boat, des bateaux de qualité emblématique de la Finlande. One Boat Network, tous ensemble maintenant. West Gear, votre concessionnaire de bateaux en Suède et Big Pike Boat, des bateaux de qualité pour les pêcheurs à la ligne. Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Fly vs Jerk 14. Me and my friend Anders. Yep. Now it's the river day it's afternoon. the afternoon, day one, second episode. We currently hold the top 5 point. Currently. Currently, yes. So, yes but yes. we need to increase those. So yeah, let's go for it, let's go for it. Really close to the number point and also really close to the big fish point. Yeah. We know there are 10 kilo fish here. Let's Definitely. go for it. Definitely. Yeah. Six hours left. Here we go. Yes. Boom. Hello guys, welcome to Fly vs Jerk 14. This is team Powerboat Mercury, fishing with my super skilled <laughs> pike angler Pasi Taponen. Uh, still the river day. This is the episode two. We're gonna go for one more approved fish so we can yeah. fill the paper then we're gonna yeah of course try to get some more and even bigger ones yeah increase the 9.19 kilo Deep. fish yeah see you later alligator yeah <laughs> <laughs> rock and roll rock and roll let's go episode two we need to catch a fish in this episode i think i think so too <laughs> only one we only need one but it has to be over 9.9 kilos yes that's easy isn't it Yeah, uh, really easy. <laughs> no, but like, it's not impossible. It's actually very possible, but the big one just needs to bite because I'm, I'm 120% sure it's swimming here. 100%, yes. Yes. Welcome back to CWC Fishing Team. This is episode two. We just had a lunch report and uh, we had some fish to catch, German. We need to step up, yeah. but hey, we did a good job in the morning, so just yeah, keep. Yeah, but we, we are in the middle somewhere and, and uh, not far away for the numbers, we are not far away for the big fish and we are not f far away for top five. No. So we are just nagging them. So uh, it's other teams who has, they need to step up. Yeah, but hey, we have no point at the moment. We also... No, 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 no. But it's only half day. We're fishing a deep eddy here and uh, we really go for one meter fish. Hopefully if we find it, And uh, if we don't find anything here, we're going up to the spot again to uh, try it once more because there's more fish there. And if we don't catch anything there, decent fish or something, we need to ramp up and go to more down in the river. Uh, it's more fish there, it's more shallow fishing and, and uh, go for numbers and hopefully catch a big one there too. So we have lots of options actually. First cast after the lunch report. We have a small stretch of the river left to fish and then we're gonna change to a smaller boat. Yeah. Try to catch a big fish, try to catch a lot of fish. Yeah, we will continue with our plan. Uh, like top five was our game plan for today. And we think that we still have a shot of the, both the top five, the big fish, and now also the the numbers point. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're feeling quite positive. The fish are biting, weather is good. We're gonna enjoy this nice weather because tomorrow we're gonna have <laughs> some really tough conditions. Welcome back guys. Episode two, we've got our work cut out for ourselves. Yeah. We're far behind, yeah. but... Uh, on everything. <laughs> on everything, you know, not far behind on numbers. So we will see, we will spend like an hour to catch a really big one uh, if we can. After that, I think we will go all in for numbers to secure one point if we can. Yeah. So this is the smartest play. Yeah, that's the smartest play. Let's do that. Yeah, come on, come on, brother. Let's go. Welcome to the second episode. We just started the fish again. Nice to hear that some people have caught some fish, but it's still an open race. We can still catch the heaviest. And we still, if we are lucky to get, <laughs> like to have some strikes. Yeah. We can uh, go for five longest, but that will be hard. Uh, I just hope we get the big fish. Yeah. So we're sticking to the plan. Keep casting 
and uh, hopefully we will get that big strike sometime during the day. Yeah. Nice, Alex. We take her directly. Yeah. Just take it easy. Yeah. It's like the same size. Yeah. And my catfish 45 is dead. Yes. Oh, you know, you. Yeah. Like, it's so. I know. When it's competition, like the pulse when the strike comes, it's like a crazy. 91. Nice. 91. Good job, Alex. Nice. Uh, we need three strikes more to yeah. get the big one. But every strike, we're one strike closer. Yeah. It feels like when they take, they take. Like really it. hard. <laughs> but uh, it's a long way between the strikes. She cut me also, and I'm worth it. Now I tried the black one. He caught a fish on the white one. So I'm going to quickly change to the natural perch. Imitates like a small sander or a small perch. And they eat a lot of small sander here, so let's try it. See if we can get some quick strikes now. Close to the bottom. I let it. Uh, it's a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a big one. That's a bigger one. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Outside also. Yep. Yeah. Oof. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. Yes! I think one so. big one. Small one. I changed to the natural perch. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a better fish. Ooh. Come on! Yes! Yeah. It's a meter fish. Ooh. I'm, I, I need to cast. Oh. Whew. Damn! The hooks are out. Ooh! It's not over 10. Yes, she is. Okay, maybe. 100% yeah. she is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. No, she's just... No, it's just the shortest stubby. 101. Uh, one. But she could be over 919. We need to... Uh, Weigh the bag. Yeah. Zero. Okay, zero. But she could be over 919. No. No. Yeah, 816. Yeah. 816. Okay, three fish. We're getting closer to that big bite. Every bite we're closing in. Ooh, man, it turns fast in pike fishing. Again on the 35 centimeter for me now, but in the color natural perch. Super strike, super strike. Okay, let's take another one while they're eating. So we switch uh, area, we travel a little bit to downstream. It's uh, a little bit shallower here. There are going to be a few, few like obvious pockets and uh, backwaters down there, but we're going to start fishing from here. So I'm going with actually same fly and uh, with a sink three line. So it's a little bit bigger area to cover here. Just cover some water at the moment. And pretty soon we're going to hit some hot spots and hopefully we can find some big fish from, from those places. But we are switching also to, to trying to catch a good top five now. Our plan from the beginning was that the, the top area was supposed to go quite good in numbers. And then this lower part is going to be better for, for uh, bigger fish. So we thought that uh, that was the plan, but now the numbers were quite good in a lot of the teams. So we're dropping that completely now and trying to go for a big five, good top five. and. And of course, uh, a really big fish. So now it's going to be fishing over grass beds, backwaters, big flies, and fishing uh, whitefish patterns. And hopefully, we can get some serious fish here. Hope I have a nice fish following here. Oh, yeah. Really? Good one? Uh, yeah, it's an 80 centimeter fish. Definitely. Should I be ready with net? Sh should you try <laughs> take it with the net? Or uh, what did you? Should I be ready with the net? You have to convince it to bite first. Maybe you throw your fly here. Push fast. Fast, 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 fast. It's coming towards. Fast, fast, fast. That's good, that's good, that's good. Fish it, fish it. So just below it, so drop it, drop it. Yeah, it's just behind it. Oh yeah, I can see, now I can see it. 
this wasn't at all what we were expecting. This was supposed to be our hotspot as a river. So now we're switching place to the more upstream where we hope we can find a, some active fish and hopefully one really big that's enough for today, today to get a one point. Uh, it's not working for us. We don't really know why. It's no pike weather. It's flat, calm. And there's really weather coming the next two days, so hopefully they turn on. Yeah. But we're gonna try another river. Yeah. We, we had some followers, but it was obvious that these were really inactive. Yeah, so. so hopefully the other river is more productive. Let's get the boat up and uh, go to another river and see what happens. Yeah, yep. let's do it. Temps calme pour Niklos et Marcus, mais ce n'est pas le cas pour l'équipe d'Aiwa. 485 cm sur le top 5 après seulement 4 heures de pêche et le vent s'est levé depuis qu'ils ont commencé à pêcher ce matin. Donc la météo semble vraiment être de leur côté. Yeah, so so we are in the river and we said already when when we tested this we think we need to oops, that was grass. We need, we need to fish this uh, testing different tactics. But we said that going shallow, going for the grass, that would be the number one tactics. And it's good enough. So we decided to spend the afternoon in the same fashion. So we will go fishing shallow within the grass. So between uh, one meter, one and a half, up to let's say two, two and a half, something like that. So that will be the tactics for the afternoon. Nice wind we have, Anders. Yeah, a, wind is picking up. It's a southern wind and it's a, it's a right, quite pikey weather in, in fact. And, uh, and uh, we are back to the morning spot. Now we have wind here and uh, we'll try out the spots in different conditions now. This is not bad. I think this could be good for a big, big pike. They are, are not going to get spooked as easy as they was in the morning when it was total flat. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, super enthusiastic on this. Yeah, it feels like anything can happen. Anything can happen at any time because we know that the pikes are here. I mean, we, we, we caught a few during, during the fishing before lunch, quite a fair amount, and with a nice average size, I would say. So that means that they are, they are here in this grass, so let's just continue casting here, and, and I bet we catch something good during the afternoon. Avec 485 cm sur le top 5, Anders et Christian peuvent pêcher ce très gros poisson en toute confiance. Mais ils doivent quand même faire attention à l'équipe Catch with Care, car ils ne sont pas loin derrière. We had a really nice fish after. Just turned just beside the boat, followed the guy in picture, Andreas bait, and it was a really nice fish. Was the fish maybe was around for? 110, but it was fatter than the other one. So it was a nice fish for sure. Well needed at the moment also. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 fish. This is the second fish on this edge here. That's super. Come on, team catch with care. We need to step up. Yeah, but this is upgrading top five. Oh, it's a, it's a fat one, not a long one. 89. Okay. Just lost that huge follower of mine. Uh, or lost it, didn't even buy it. Got this one right after. Maybe I would have preferred a bigger one, but still, hey, it's something. We'd have quite slow after lunch, so well needed at the moment. Boom! Nice! Okay, so we're packing up for this part of the river, and we're gonna bring the boat up on the launch again, go to another boat launch, and start the fishing again. So we will probably lose like an hour, maybe 45 minutes of fishing, but we think we're worth it, because we have fish draw spots here, and we need to get new water. Un nouveau spot en route pour Andreas et Stéphane, et c'est aussi le cas pour l'équipe Headbanger, mais leur déplacement n'est pas aussi long. Ok, donc so maintenant, nous uh, changeons à une petite boat qui est sur ces rapides. Donc, nous allons juste prendre les choses les plus importantes et continuer à pêcher. Ici est la boat, nous l'avons placée ici hier. Maintenant, nous allons juste le flipper et le pousser et le faire un peu de dommage sérieux au scoreboard. 16 clics jusqu'à présent pour Marcus et Emmanuel et c'est 16 de plus que l'équipe Neistroft en ce moment. Mais ils ne cherchent qu'un seul gros poisson. Yeah, due to the fact that Daniel has quite a lot action compared to me, I also changed to the same lure, 30 cm predator, just in another color. Hopefully, it will catch a big fish. I mean, we go all in as we said in the beginning for the big one because the top five is already quite good. I mean, 
if you have a good day here you can easily catch this top five but as you as you saw on the last episode we don't have a good day today but it can all change one fish can make this day to an amazing day so keep on fishing my friend and catch a big one in the last episode this lure gave me three nice actions one really really decent fish not a giant but i think it was like 95 two smaller ones i have a lot of faith in this lure at the moment i think um, the green belly and a nice slow wobble really hits the pike uh, we're still fishing the weeds we know several big fish have been caught here we know there have been fish caught here over 9.9 .9 kilos in the last couple days it's possible it's possible we just have to you know keep going wait for that one big strike big take a pike with confidence that's what we need to try that side a little bit just five casts just to get one fish i'm not sure if they're standing and still water here because then we should have fish over here at this bank oh that was a surprise can you grow up to be a 90 centimeter pike please i think we move so it doesn't oh look what happened here we need to change that one i saw that now that one went off okay we take this one away put another one on but i'm thinking that those other places upstream it's it's <coughs> both of the places are like one anchor stop places so yeah not... but at least we can fish on fishes that we haven't cast on for the whole day so we need to go there and just try to fill the paper that's the only thing we can try to get to one more point yeah i mean if there's a lot of small packs there we can even go for the numbers we no can, we're not we go gonna catch no they had like 16 in four yeah hours. we had seven yeah in four no six now we have seven yeah they had 16 in four hours so but so that's four fish every hour and we would have to catch like six or seven every hour to beat that you never know yeah this time go a little bit bigger or this feels actually decent if it's not hooked funny everything is decent right now compared to what we have so <laughs> this is a decent fish man other side, other side, other side. side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you ready yeah it's a meter fish no 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 it's not this isn't this, this, this is about, can you please this is like, like 85 no 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 just say it's like 110. <laughs> keep the mojo going <laughs> <laughs> don't hate that <laughs> well that's one more we need to keep them coming jacob okay let's measure this one though because this yeah. is a this is a measure fish yeah you said this is like 80 fish 85 i would say yeah. <sighs> that never mind all right this is this is a small one just uh here here just touch touch perfect double trouble small one but uh, you know a pike is a pike and the strike is a strike so uh, yeah this is uh, a small oh, oh. this is food this is maybe a 90 fish yeah let's check her I, i'll take her yeah. 94 there 94 i have it here perfect nice one yeah first decent yeah. you know lengthwise yeah no, you know, I'm having fun. Yeah, I have. <laughs> L'équipe Gigar commence très bien l'épisode 2. Et non seulement ils ajoutent un poisson à leur top 5, mais ils ont aussi ajouté 8 clics, ce qui leur donne la tête sur le point du nombre. L'équipe Vision a maintenant mis son bateau à l'eau et est prête à pêcher sur son nouveau spot. So welcome back to Team Vision here. We uh, changed the river. Uh, as you can see up ahead, we actually have uh, really fast water. So this is the first slack water, or back water, or eddy, or whatever you want to call it. So uh, hopefully, but the water level is quite low, so we don't know if there's fish in this one. But otherwise, we're gonna fish uh, downstream here. Uh, we were filming an episode of Fly Maniacs here uh, two weeks ago, and we had a nice 114 centimeter fish and a few other ones. So we took a risk to move. Let's see what happens. So we're having a like a really nice fast rapid up here so it's a lot of grayling and whitefish there this is like the first uh, slow moving water uh, in this lower stretch 
So what I think the fish is doing is they're going out in the stream hunting and then they're coming back to rest and also digest the food here. So we most likely are, because the hole is not really deep enough to have a lot of bait fish, but it's more of a place where they rest before they go and hunt again. So hopefully we have some big ladies in this hole resting for the evening hunt here. Yeah, fish. Oh, yeah. Good. You were like surprised. Yes, I thought, I thought it was put on the spot. Oh, oh, come around, come around, come around. Oh, no. oh, it's quite strong. You want to have net? Yep. Just a second. Uh, that may, might be our biggest so far. Ooh. Good job. Hey. <laughs> I was really surprised because <laughs> nothing, nothing happened in the limit time. And it's 90. Okay. Our biggest so far. Beaucoup d'équipes ont décidé de changer de spot de pêche dans cette première heure de l'épisode 2 et pour Marcus et Niklos, le mouvement a payé tout de suite. L'équipe d'Aiwa a pris la même décision. Le vent dont ils étaient si contents ne leur a pas donné un seul brochet. Ils sont donc arrivés sur un nouveau spot. Yes. Christian, this looks better. I think this was a good move. It was a proper move, at least from the looks of it. We have to try it, of course. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But something happened with the, with the, with the wind and potentially with the pressure in combination. So, so this looks a little bit more like the conditions we had this morning. So yes, it is. It does. Let, let's give it a try. Let's see. This is a nice place. Quite it big, is. Yeah. Quite yeah. big one. So you could easily get a few. A few and few we had nice some ones. some good fishing here during the, the 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 test runs that we did. So I'm going to upgrade my bait size to a. 25 centimeter sidekick shad because we know there are big pikes here and it's just a matter of getting one pike up and grab the bait so correct so let's go for the big one we just need a really nice pike and then we have a good chance of, of taking the top five when fishing is slow there's a lot of things you can try and what i'm trying right now is i'm i'm, I'm taking a kind of a dark color because it's really dark outside and the fishing is slow so this one is, is hardly even visible at all, but it still produces the, the, the push wave. So the fish can feel it, but hardly see it. And sometimes this is what's, what it takes when fishing is slow. So I figured, what the heck, I'll give it a try. Good idea, good idea. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. I have a pike, bam, ba, dam, bam. It's not a big one, but it's a pike. It's a clicker. It's a pike. They are here and we are here. Isn't it so? Shall I touch it for you? Yeah, please. Oh, oh, you yep. touch. Thank, thank oh, you, thank oh, you. Oh. Very nice of you, mister. It was inhaling my 25 centimeter bait. Crazy fish. It counts. It counts? I it will counts. release her. It's not really what we are looking for, but nope. it counts. I will put, put her back. Bye bye. Fetch me a bigger one. There must be a bigger one here, Anders. Yeah. Nice. It's two o'clock. Uh, we just caught two more fish uh, on the first spot uh, after changing to the small boat. So that feels good, but still the big fish are missing. We're only catching the very smallest pike, which is a bit weird. We would have expected a better average on this stretch, but we hope that they're gonna wake up for an afternoon snack soon. Yeah. Yeah. Decent one. Net you can core. get the net. Yeah. Uh, it's not gonna be a big upgrade, but I think it's gonna be an upgrade. Yeah. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Finally, one more. Good bite. I thought it was like a little bit bigger than this, like 85, 90, I thought. But I think this will be our fifth approved pike. Wow, it's Let's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, the colors. On that. Very nice one. 81. Yeah. 81 centimeter. Nice. So now we have fished this uh, small part of the river with a small boat. We got three fish, uh, so that was good, but uh, only small ones. But I really thought we were going to catch some big one here, but 
Tour rapide pour l'équipe Headbanger qui a pris trois brochets dans le petit bateau avant de décider de retourner dans le grand bateau. Leur 21 e poisson de 81 cm complète leur top 5 et nous semblons avoir une bataille pour le point du nombre entre l'équipe Headbanger et l'équipe Yegar. Ouf Yeah, f***, stop there. Ah, ah, f***, he missed it. That was a provable fish. Yeah. That was a really nice one. He was biting it after like two meters. Yeah, no, f***. He took it again. Oh my God, what's wrong? Do you think that was a strike? Yeah, that was a really decent fish. I mean, it was really big. It was jumping exactly when the lure was hitting the water and It was biting the lure after like two meters and I missed it. I cast on it again and it took it again, but it went off. We need that fish. <laughs> We really need that, need that fish. No, oh, I missed it again. No way. What the f***? What's wrong? We tried our best now for like two hours, didn't catch anything. We lost a really nice pike, but... So we're gonna change area, we're gonna go another place in this river to take up the boat and drive like five ten minutes to launch it in another place that we had some uh, good pre-fishing but we were fishing without hooks so uh, we'll see we just want to have that one more pike it needs to be at least 86 centimeters so we have a chance for the top five but we'll see we we'll try our best let's go let's go so we have three fish and we have four hours left the big ones ha hasn't bite yet so hopefully they may be not bite today but hopefully so we will just keep going here it's kind of a boring fishing but if you don't do it then you never know if you move you will never know so we will get an answer shortly yeah they're uh, about to move that big uh, ship and uh, the, that boat is pushing a lot of water at the moment Either it's good, maybe we have a couple of big ones on the move now, or uh, yeah, the lid is on, like you say in Swedish. <laughs> you never know, good or bad, but we have to go closer and try. You never know what's gonna happen in the Netherlands. One day the current is backwards, and one day you move ships with heavy motors. So you get streaming points. 100% there were... Fish under there. Yeah. yeah. But the uh, question if, if they stand <laughs> there after they move that or if they like go on. This is like an element I haven't uh, <laughs> been, <laughs> been used to when fishing. Oh shit, here comes more. We we're fishing a spot right now uh, with a lot of underwater structure. Uh, there is an edge that we are casting over with some uh, weeds on it. Uh, and it seems that uh, the pike hide in the weed and that when you, when you pass with your bait over the head, uh, they just smash it. We've had some really, really nice takes. Oh, you had a follow. Yeah? Yeah, you had a follow. Yeah, it's, it's gone, it's gone, but you had a follow. Good one? Ah, I, I didn't see, I just saw choof. I would even say that finding underwater structure in a river is more important than in a lake since the pike will seek shelter from the current. Uh, it's either on the side where the, where the water doesn't flow as fast or it's behind uh, huge boulders or, or in, in the deep holes uh, in the river. So, so make sure you find structures uh, and fish around those uh, when you fish a river. And when you find places like that, you will often find bait fish as well. Uh, since bait fish, same, same thing goes there. Uh, they don't want to swim too much, uh, so they will find shelter. And when you find bait fish, you find the predators around lurking and just waiting to, to eat. Well, two o'clock report. Uh, it's getting a little bit warmer and uh, the pike are getting more active. So hopefully we will continue. I think we need roughly around 40 to get numbers today. So we still have a long way to go, but it's really fun. I don't know. I I don't know. This might be approved. No, it's it's feeling. Ah, I don't know. This is approved fish. This is approved fish. <coughs> yeah, perfect. This is approved fish. Perfect. They are hammering this. It's 
totally hammering it. You get 19 because it's a little bit easier to hook and we're out for the number so but this thing can still take big pikes as well. Number 23 I think. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how long she is. I have it here. I have 94. Uh, approved 94. A couple more of these and a big one. A little bit more numbers. Well, we want everything right now. But, Gigar est well, de nouveau en tête avec 23 brochets. Je pense que la plupart d'entre nous se rappellent comment Bjorn et Jacob ont fini dans Fly vs Jerk. Maintenant, vous avez la chance de faire le même voyage puisque la qualification ouverte de Fly vs Jerk aura lieu cet été. Rendez-vous sur tournament.canalgratis.se pour en savoir plus. Ok, so we just put the boat in on the new place and we're gonna be fishing here the rest of today. Not the same spot, but the same area. Uh, and hopefully catch uh, three fish to change our top five with. Hopefully two of them at least over one meter. Uh, that's our plan, yep. our goal. Of course. And that's also what we need to do to snatch a point today, I think. Three fish over meter. Oh, maybe. And this is the spot where we think we have the best chance to do that. But we have not very much time though, so we're gonna fish quite fast. Fish. That's good. It's a small one. Small. Hello. In the grass. Look at the fence. They are so big. Not a big one, but good strike. Big fence. Oh yo yo. Finally a pike. L'équipe Powerboat Mercury bye bye. a décidé de prendre son bateau et d'aller sur un autre spot car ils n'ont attrapé qu'un seul petit brochet après le déjeuner. Mais faire monter le bateau était plus facile à dire qu'à faire. I love you, Pussy. Yeah. We didn't need a tractor this time. No. <laughs> Why use a tractor? We can have a blue row. Yeah. Okay. Lasse. Let's take them all. We are changing the spot now to another one. We test fish with no hooks and we had several bites here. So <laughs> we're changing that upgrade for the fill in the paper. I think we need like 86 centimeters to pass if it was team dive. What we know. But what we know for yeah, now. But we're going for a bigger fish. Yeah, one meter fish. Come on, Pasi. Let's do it. Let's take them all. Take them all. So we are back at the spot where Daniel got his followers and strikes. Still no fish. Tough day, but I said this before, I think. We can't complain because that's what we knew before we came here. It's one fish. We are really lucky five, so I think we are not really lucky, but we still have the chance for this one big fish, and that's what we will catch soon. Look at this spike territory. You can see the bushes. It's like an underwater forest. Yeah, look at this. Look in the water. Look at this wheat. It's like a forest. Underwater forest. Underwater forest. There must be pike in. I can't understand. I really can't understand that they are not biting. But still, one fish. You have to keep this in mind. Always keep this in mind. It's just one fish. We don't need 10. These types of days, just, you have to stay positive. It's the only way to, uh, to have fun. And you, know, you know what I said, right? Four o'clock is dinner bell time. It's like an alarm for the pike to yeah, start I, feeding. I, Always, when I'm on this water, if we have a tough day, then from four o'clock it starts going. You get, you get a couple strikes. So I relax for, for another half an hour? Yeah. Okay. I will catch a big one in the next half an hour, okay? Yeah. Before the dinner bell. And then I'll catch one at the dinner bell. An appetizer. Appetizer. All the boats that have been here, are gone. I think they just stopped and do siesta. Yeah, maybe they are back at four o'clock. <laughs> yeah, but then it's their fault because they are missing what bell? Dinner bell. Huh? Dinner bell time. The dinner bell. They're missing the dinner bell times. I cannot name the amount of times that four o'clock after four o'clock saved me. That's how we stay positive. Just find another possible. Pendant que Dustin et Daniel attendent que la cloche du dîner period. sonne aux Pays-Bas, cette cloche ne semble jamais s'arrêter de sonner pour l'équipe Yegar Dotnou.
Here we go. Nut or not? I don't think so. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Good job, Jacob. This might be... This, yeah, I'll take it. This might actually be... Yeah. Upgrade. Pike number... 29. 29. Hulken, they've smashed it today. Let's measure and see. Yep. This is... Yeah, there, 82. 82. This one is getting hammered. Well, I can take a couple more. Yes, you can. Let's go. The fishing is really tough. Just a small pike and a couple of bites this afternoon. Which means that we, we, we spend a lot of time in this place from, or close to the place from tomorrow, this morning. Uh, try to find a, a pike that will be active. Changing the bait or the sound of the bait could be really effective. So when I change to the laser distance with the paddle tail, which wiggles a lot from side to side and first cast, I get a strike. Nice movement in the water. Here it comes, side to side with the tail. Really a lot of belly flash also on the laser distance. This is a bigger one. This is a nice one. <laughs> is it a net? Holy Moses, what a take. Is it a net? It can be a net fish, it can be a net fish. Yep, it is, it is. It is a net fish. It's a long fish. It's a long fish. Could be a meter one. Oh. Yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. Okay, here we go. Nice. That's one. Nice, that's a kicker, that's a kicker. <gasps> that's a kicker! Nice, maybe. Yeah, there's the distance with a paddle tail. My god! My god! You are a, uh, you're on fire <laughs> today Euphoria. as well, yeah. Like every day. That's a fat fish, look at that. That's a really fat one. Finally, after struggling many hours from nothing, but bang, we found a spot with really nice weed here. So uh, let's hope we can catch. We have a couple of hours left as a healthy fish. fish. Okay. And it's, uh, it's uh, 92. 92, all right. 92, 92. Nice. We don't need to weigh this one. Yeah, no, let her go. And let's be quick We now fishing. 92. Good. Ah, there she went. That helps us. Yeah. Right. That's a kicker. Because our smallest was 84, which means that it's 8 centimeters on yep. this. Yep. 8 centimeters added on 489. 485 is 493. Yeah. Okay. Closing up. Closing, Closing up in. to 500. Closing up. Closing in. The uh, change of river didn't really go as uh, planned. Uh, but. Uh, it gave us a little bit more energy and uh, at least we're fishing on uh, new waters and we had one fish. We thought river day was going to be much much better for us but it didn't pay out, it didn't pay off at all so let's see. Uh, we have an hour and a half now, uh, a little bit more than an hour and a half and we have some good spots so we're looking for that big fish. So far we haven't found it so see what happens. Holding those thumbs for us. Better? Better? I don't know. I don't know, but I think it's hooked really badly. I'll net it anyway. Ah, it's a small one, but still. Come on, come on, come on. Jacob, how long arms do you think I have? Um, Just reel it in. Yeah, sorry, man. Just back up, reel it in. I know. No, sorry to be angry, but I told you uh, like the third time, it. you know? Don't worry about it. In order to make something different, I fish now a 32 centimeter long grab. It's really heavy, pushes a lot of water. Maybe tired pike will attack it. It's a prototype. That's why the color is a bit weird. We made it our, ourselves. I like With the color. Three D printer is not bad, but it does not look like you know for to sell it. But maybe that will make the trick or the difference. Nice! Catch a big one, my friend. Please. Pushes so much water, it feels really heavy to retrieve. Oh, it's nice. Oh, fish! Oh, I lost it! No, it took the little in front of the boat. Oh, man. And I lost it. Why? Why it always happens to me? Ah! Hey, you see the bite marks? 
that was not a small fish. I mean, it was not obvious the big fish, but it was a fish. It was 90 plus, I think. Yeah, maybe it was 90 plus, yes. I think I just woke up again. We saw one boat get a fish. We just got a fish within five minutes. I think they're starting to get active. I just got a small bait, a small spinner bait. Maze runner should do the trick. I caught so many pike in this. This is by far my favorite pike bait at the moment. Steady retrieving, slowly. One or two times I just hit it real fast and then let it drop a bit. And then on these two blades, it acts like a parachute, falls down. See what works. Ooh, Good strike. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. Oh, How big was it? I saw it. Uh, are you kidding me? How are big you was it? kidding me? Struck it two times. Oh, oh no. I saw the wave. Ah! <laughs> it gets my heart going. Oh man, what a strike. Il est plus de 4 heures aux Pays-Bas et comme Daniel l'a dit, les brochets vont commencer à manger à ce moment-là. Mais malheureusement, toujours pas de brochets dans le bateau pour l'équipe Neistroft. There you go. Maybe this is a good one. Is it big? I would like to net this one. Yes, please. I come. I come. Oh, that's a fair it's, one. It's a long. It could be a kicker. It's a fair one. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, absolutely. Nice one. It was a nice one. I'm, I'm not sure. 92. Me neither. It, but what, it was a good strike, so I wanted to Was it 92? It. it was 92, wasn't it? That we are beating? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. It could be 92. All right. Every millimeter counts. <laughs> It was a nice strike at least. Oh, your hands. My hands. Okay. They are a disaster. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's longer. It's 97. Seven. 97. 97. 97. 97. 97. That was a kicker. That was a kicker. Kick. Improves us with 5 centimeters. Une autre amélioration sur le tableau du top 5 pour l'équipe d'Aiwa et il se rapproche de la marque des 5 mètres. Il reste environ une heure de la première journée et nous n'avons pas vu de changement majeur sur le tableau d'affichage aujourd'hui, mais nous avons déjà vu des changements de dernière minute. We're getting action. Getting action. Come on, man. I... These pike have to be kidding us, right? They're laughing at us. Yeah, fish. fish! The heavy one! Big one! Big one! Big one! Holy shit! <laughs> just get this it, just get it! One, man. That's your personal yes, best. That's the one. Oh my god. That's your personal best? Oh my god. This is the one. Yeah. This is so heavy. I see it. It's, it's huge. Shit. It's huge, just 120 plus. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. So big. Let it go. Let it go. So Don't took it too hard, please. No, no, no. no. Oh, it's shit. 120 plus. Take care, take care, take care. It's so big. It's I'm so shaking. Big. It's the biggest one I've, uh, oh, I my. think it's one. I think this is my personal best. I think so too. It's 130 maybe. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is crazy. Good thing is it's a soft rod. We have time. We have time. Don't push it too hard, please. No, 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 no. My drag is really loose. It's so big. I saw it. It's crazy. I'm shaking, man. Me too. I'm shaking like hell. Should maybe I get, the, off maybe the anchor? get it out. The, the huh? Maybe get it out. The the, the anchor. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. What the f? 
Oh my god! What? It's this is the biggest bike I've ever seen. <laughs> on the mate for now. That's the biggest oh. bike I've ever seen. Yes! <gasps> Alright, let's make it. Oh look, my. Look, look at this. Oh my. Look at this fish. This is the pike that we were fishing for all day. And it was dinner time. <laughs> dinner bell. Oh! He <laughs> slapped you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the f is this, man? I can't believe it. Oh my god! 128. 128? 128. My personal best! <laughs> yes! Ooh, let's, let's weigh it. <laughs> One meter 28. Personal best bike. This is the craziest fish ever, Dan. 128 on a small spinnerbait, my favorite spinnerbait. The maze runner. Oh my god. All right, let's measure it. Let's weigh it fast. We zero it. Zero. Fifteen, sixteen, fifteen point eight, fifteen point eight kilos. Approved. Fifteen point eight kilos. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We have to get her back. On the maze runner. Mate, oh. I love you. And your personal best? Hey, on fly versus jerk. 15.8 kilogram. I think, I don't think, I know, except anyone else caught a bigger one today, it's the all time record of fly versus jerk. Yes. All right, so this is what you look like after a 128 personal best bike. Ah, this is the magic. This is the weapon that did it. The Maze Runner, the Predator, my favorite one. And the funny thing is, I call my personal best on this one. Dustin did as well, 125. So it's definitely a big pike magnet with a, like it's a small lure with a lot of packing power. I already explained the action, how you fish it. This bike proves it works. I'm, I'm still out of words. And I think tonight, when I look back at the photos, it's gonna hit again. <laughs> look at that guy over there. <laughs> I'm so happy, that's so crazy. Hey, all oh, this oh, pain, the whole day, missing pikes and uh, no, I'm, I'm about to cry. No, I'm not, but I'm close to. That's so great. Mesdames et messieurs, pour la troisième année consécutive, nous avons un nouveau record de gros poissons. Ce gros brochet est homologué à 15 kg. Félicitations à Daniel pour son nouveau record personnel et je pense que nous pouvons dire félicitations à l'équipe Nestroft pour le point de gros poisson du premier jour. What time was the dinner bell exactly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was the big ones a bit later, so it was exactly when you said. <laughs> yeah, we we're running out of time. We uh, did a gamble to go to some other spot. We ramp up the boat and went further down. And uh, we are in small channels, and normally it's lots of fish. Uh, we went for numbers, but it's not so many fish around. At, at least they don't bite. And uh, we have only caught four fish, lost two, and, and uh, it's tough. But we're fighting and fighting and fighting. We never give up. So uh, hopefully we catch some nice fish. We're fighting. You coming? Of course. I'm stuck. I'm stuck with the line. Ooh. Yeah. Good job. Hey. A big fish. Nice fish. You fought hard for that one. It's number 20 at least. Yeah, of course. Ah, but it's 90. Four. 94. 94. 94. Nice. Oh. Good job. We fought hard for this one, didn't we? We did. At least it came something. Yeah, yeah. but you did good. 
Okay. You, you switched to a bigger bait and uh, Need to do went something. for for a nicer fish. So. But hey, cool. it's number 20 of today. Yeah. Cool. She's going down. <laughs> bye bye. 50 minutes. Yeah. Take this one. Oh, it's still uh, some light. Now we're fishing uh, like the edge of the river and it's like four meter deep and uh, we have bream everywhere and probably some pike standing close by. But uh, we're fishing quite fast now on some active fish because time is running out. We can't do the slow big fish game <laughs> at the moment. So we will uh, run this stretch up uh, until time ends. Then we have done everything we could today. It's a nice one. Uh, not, maybe not that. But it's a fish. Yeah, uh, it's not that big. Yeah, but we measure her. Yeah. It was just a super nice strike. On the big? No, on the 35. Keep, keep on casting, I fix. Well, I changed to a zombie perch, catfish 35, because my natural perch died. Okay, it's just a 73. Okay, <laughs> small little fat one. Back she goes. Okay, a few minutes left. Maybe we can fill the paper at least, but we need we need uh, two more better ones. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if we fill the paper or not. First time fishing this color. Malheureusement, 73 cm est trop petit pour faire partie du top 5 puisque la longueur minimale est de 75 cm. Ouf. Ouh. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, you have it, have it, have it. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Yeah. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is so crazy. <laughs> Give it. <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh, come on. <laughs> you was, you was, was watching was, me, right? It was by the boat for like 10 seconds. Yeah. Uh, there was weed on the lure and I was just playing with it, playing with it, playing with it. And he said, yeah, I have a fish. But he didn't. So, and then I was looking back. It's still there. Switch the hook in a couple of times, boom. Did I actually have to tell you? Did I have it? I didn't <laughs> <Yeah>. feel it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Number 26. Seven, seven. Well, approved fish number five. Not the size we're looking for, but it's a click. So it's a fish number 25, approved fish number five. Sorry, sorry. Is it, is it a net? Sorry, sorry. I don't know. What the freaking hell is this? It's taking line. All right. Is this the one we are looking for? Or have you hooked the salmon or? Could be a false hook also. Yeah. So Let's see. Hook. Let's see. It feels quite heavy, honestly. Right. And it actually pulls line, so let's find out. Let me let me lead you touch it. Okay, touch. But it's, it actually is a nice one. It's actually a nice fish. Maybe we should measure it. Yeah, yeah, we can measure that. That could be a that could be a better could be one. A kicker. Actually, it could. Yeah. Hold on to it. As always, it's not that bad actually. No, it's not. It's a good you take fish. you take the hand. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I had it. Had it. Okay. Yeah. Let me know when. No. One or two. One or two. That's a kicker. Oh! Fantastic! Woohoo! Good fishing. Oh, 102! Look at those fish. They're amazing. And the, and the blue. What's in the blue again? Pink belly UV. All right. Lazy Chad. My new favorite. And nevertheless, Anders, we have done our very best. If somebody beats us, it's... Then they are better they, than us. It's nothing to say about. Marcus, we have one hour left to turn this thing around. Fishing is slow now. You need to step up or catch one really big one. 
We have the possibilities to do both, I think. You get the net, Marcus. Yeah. Oh, this is a decent size. Nice. Finally. Took a while. I'm not sure this is going to help us much, but it feels good. <laughs> and this is 85. 85 centimeter. Nice. I have no clue though. No, it's not that big. Whoa, that is strong. <laughs> crazy. Might be biggest today though. Uh, Can you take the net? That was crazy. Well that was crazy. Oh, was, <laughs> I was scared. It's not that big, but it was strong was as hell. Leaving with that current, of course, but ah. Uh, 91 centimeter, of course, Hulken. Did it again. Really nice, number 32. Uh, Hopefully this will be enough, we don't know, but we have a couple more minutes to fish. There was a really fun jump, do you see that? And it went up, then down, <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> really nice, really nice. Number 32. A couple more though, a couple more. Oh, bigger. Oh, yeah. They're here. Good. We have it. This one is 86. Bye bye. Okay, two minutes to go. Let's take them. Ooh, that's slippery. Whew. Oh, have on. Yeah, no, lost it. No. Take it again. Okay, last cast of the episode two. Let's take it, Roman. The big one. Yeah. We try. Oh, I'm stuck on the last cast. <laughs> okay, it's over. Six o'clock. Oi, oi, oi. Good job, man. Yeah, good job. La journée good rivière good. est terminée et il est temps d'appeler les équipes et de distribuer les points. So it's Marcus from Team Vision. Uh, we have total seven fish. Our top five is uh, 260, and the biggest fish is around four and a half kilo. Victor from uh, Team Lead Gator. Total fish of uh, four and 363 centimeter and biggest fish 8.16 kilo uh, this is uh, from uh, team uh, power boat mercury posse so we had a really terrible afternoon we caught only one small fish so our total is seven fish biggest 9.19 and uh, top five is 401 Okay, this is uh, Team Catch with Care. Uh, we really fought, fight hard, but uh, we ended up 22 fish total uh, of the top five, 476, and the biggest still 7.3. This is Marcus from uh, Team Headbanger. We got uh, 23 fish in total. Our top five is 451, and we got no big fish. This is Anders Cross, Team Diva. We have the total number of 25 fish. The biggest fish, 8.12. And the total on top five is 506. Hello, this is Bjorn from uh, Team, Team Jigar. Uh, we have a total number of 33 pikes. <laughs> But we didn't manage to catch a big one, so that's only four kilos and a total number of 442. This is Dustin from Team Stroft Nace. We had a really, really tough day. Um, we managed to catch three pike, at, but it just one make it on the top five. And we have a total length of 128. Uh, the biggest fish is... 15.8 kilograms. Oh, wow. uh, congrats, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. That's crazy fish. Good job. Thanks, guys. Have a good All one. Bye-bye. Right. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Take bye. care. Bye-bye. Okay. La première bye -bye. journée bye -bye. de Fly vs Jerk est terminée et une fois de plus, c'est un épisode qui restera dans les livres d'histoire. Pour la troisième année consécutive, nous avons un nouveau record de pêche pour le plus gros poisson et c'est Daniel Weyers de l'équipe Nestroft qui trône avec une bête de 15,8 kg. C'est la preuve que le poisson de nos rêves peut apparaître à tout moment, même si la pêche est lente. Dustin et Daniel entameront le deuxième jour avec un point. 
tout comme l'équipe Yegar qui a remporté le point du nombre et l'équipe Daiwa qui a récolté un énorme 506 cm sur son top 5. I'm so looking forward to see the episode 2 of Fly vs. Jerk now. 15.8 kilos! 128. <laughs> uh, at least one point. <laughs> <laughs> yes! So no team had got two points. Yeah. So yeah. it's still wide open. You can yeah. Well, one point! We stole one point! Point. We stole one point! <laughs> <laughs> now we have to go for an even bigger one. We thought last year was big. But hey, 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 hey this yeah, is but fantastic. fantastic. Now we have a new challenge. Now we have a new Over challenge. Over 16 kilos. You know any places where 20 kilo fish swims? Yeah. I'm, I'm planning next year. <laughs> let's get a drink. Let's get some food. Let's get ready for tomorrow. Yes, and thank you for cheering for us, for <sighs> the likes, for the subscribes. So do it again, please. And we see you in the next episode. Episode 2 Goodbye. est terminé, mais la semaine prochaine nous serons de retour avec un nouvel épisode et il sera temps pour les équipes d'affronter le jour du lac. Mon nom est Tristan Edouin, on se voit la semaine prochaine. Yes man, that was nice. Hey, you have to clean my boat. It's f***ing shit now after this fish. <laughs>